Hey guys, welcome to the Home Studio Simplified channel today. Today we're going to be talking about the Gilmore mod. This is a, a modification that's been around for a long time. It was mainly attributed though to David Gilmore because everyone was always trying to hunt down that signature sound. Now you and I both know, especially if you're a guitarist, that the tone comes from the fingers, the amps, the pickups you're using, so many variables. However, this modification will get you a little bit closer to sounding like that if that's what you so desire. Now personally, I like the sound of it just because it um, gives you more tonal options. In fact, you get at least two more tonal options that I can think of um, in the sense that you have the ability to switch to different pickups. So I started out by doing this first in my Samic guitar. And um, I started out here, as you can see, with an on-off switch. And the on-off thing just wasn't doing it for me. And I also needed a way to move it closer because my OCD wouldn't allow it to be too far over. And so I actually created this here. It's like a little mini pick guard for the for the, uh, the selector switch. And then I put it right here. And as you can see, I've screwed it down. Looks a whole lot better than the on off toggle switch thing that's going on there. And there's the finished product. Well, it works so well that I decided, well, if it worked on this, I'm going to go ahead and do it to my Fender Strat. And so just so you can kind of get a, a glimpse of exactly what this is capable of doing, let's go ahead and listen to a sound clip of what it sounded like through the SAMIC after I did that. And there's actually some surprising something that's that's happening there, and I'm, I'm not quite sure why it happened, but I'm not going to argue. So check this out, and um, I'll kind of walk you through some of this. So as you can see, when I actually enable the pickup selector switch, at least in this case, a lot of the 60 cycle hum disappears. I don't know if it's kind of like the, the dummy coil type thing going on, if it's phase reversing, not necessarily sure. Now I do know that with the lights that I had on in the room, they were causing a lot of that. <coughs> But the sound is very minimal, especially whenever I switch that switch on. When it's disabled, I have a lot more hum. Kind of crazy. So now I'm going to go through some sound examples. I'm going to start out at the neck position. Uh, some cool little tonal options that you have there. Now obviously when you're in the bridge the switch is not going to do anything and when you're in your uh, middle and bridge it's not going to do anything either. Um, this is typically wired to turn on the uh, neck pickup when you're in the bridge position. However I've done it sort of backwards 
and um, that way when I'm in the neck position I can switch on the bridge and by being able to do this you can almost get like a tele sound out of your strat it's really cool and um, so I liked it so much like I said I went ahead and decided I'm gonna do this in the strat so I started out with uh, measuring a little bit better this time and trying to make sure that I got just a little bit uh, closer to the middle like I would like and um, I went ahead and ordered some mini toggle switches too the other one was a little bit bulky and really required that pickup guard type plate for it this one is so tiny as you can see um, it's actually really unobtrusive and super cheap I got five of these for five dollars so the wiring is super simple just uh, on off toggle a single pull single throw and then uh, it's a 15 64th hole if you're wanting to know that so you'll know exactly how much room you'll need and the footprint on the inside of it is very small as well uh, whenever I was finished I honestly I think it just looks really cool very appealing and yet again OCD got the best of me here and I had to actually rewire had to unsolder and turn the switch around uh, just simply because I wanted the bridge to be or rather the neck pickup whenever that selector switch was all the way at the top I wanted it to be up as well if I had the, uh, the bridge selected so make sure whenever you're putting it in you have a good, good idea of the designation of where the on and the off is at now um, best way to check this without strings being on is to just flip it on take a piece of metal and tap your neck pickup and tap your bridge pickup if they both light up on your uh, interface or you hear it on the amplifier that you're using then you know that it's working if you switch it off and your bridge goes off then you know that it's working uh, do that in the neck position if you want to uh, test that out Now, just real quickly I'm going to show you exactly how I wired it up this is so simple um, I don't know why honestly I don't know why a lot of guitars don't just come stock like this seems like it would make more sense so I'm gonna go ahead and select something yellow here so there's only two two pole pieces that you have to worry about here one of them is gonna go as you can see here I've got it going to the bridge on my uh, five-way blade switch here and then the other one is just simply going to the first lug or the vol on the volume pot so it's the same one that uh, this black wire here is attached to which is your master volume so by clicking this on and off you simply just enable that bridge to be working at a time when it's not being told to super simple alright guys so if this has been helpful in any way shape or form let me know uh, leave a comment in the comment section below make sure to like and subscribe and now I'm gonna Go ahead and send you off with a little bit of noodling so you can hear the upgraded version of the uh, Fender Strat. And um, you all have a blessed day. I'll talk to you later.